Now, in latest information, two police officers in Macomb were shot last night. The suspect then leading police into a standoff. Police, police briefed us just about an hour ago after the suspect finally surrendered. Ben Schmidt has been at the scene all day. He joins us now with what we have learned about the man at the center of all of this chaos. At 4 p.m., we learned the name of the suspect involved in last night's shooting. Macomb Chief of Police Jeff Hamer announced that 38-year-old Shaking M. Mathis peacefully surrendered from the home at around 2.10 p.m. Mathis had been barricaded inside the home since an attempted search warrant last night. Police say he shot two officers, one in the torso and one in the leg, but both have been released from the hospital and are recovering. As a result, Mathis has been charged with four counts of aggravated battery to a police officer and one count of aggravated discharge of a firearm. Additional charges are also pending. Both officers are recovering at home and are expected to make a full recovery. The Macomb Police Department wants to express my relief that this incident came to a peaceful conclusion and there were no further injuries. As you can see behind me, the street is still closed because an active investigation is still pending. Now, law enforcement does not believe there was anyone else inside the home. However, they were not able to confirm that at today's press conference. And as the investigation continues to unfold, we'll continue to update you both on air and online. Working in Macomb, I'm Ben Schmidt. Thank you, Ben. Neighbors reached out to us this morning to share video of the scene and tell us what they had been hearing and seeing all night. Richard Barnett is a pastor at University Baptist Church in Macomb. He lives across the street from the home where this all went down. Pastor Barnett tells us he was up all night and could not believe the scene unfolding right across the street. The police attempted an initial breach um, and shots were fired about 8 o'clock. Um, we could hear some crunching sounds where it uh, sounded as though they took the uh, breaching vehicle and were trying to make uh, another attempt to gain access to the house. Barnett tells us he and his wife were asked to stay in their home during the standoff. He believes at least one house in the neighborhood was evacuated as a precaution. Now let's take a look at how this all unfolded. This all started around 645 last night. Macomb police officers went to a home on North Normal Street to serve a search warrant. That's when they were shot by someone inside the home. They were taken to a local hospital and then transferred to Peoria. About 45 minutes later, just after 730, faculty and students at Western Illinois University's Macomb campus, which is in the same area, received an emergency alert. Around 930, a second alert went out. At 10 p.m., we learned the suspect was still inside home. That's about the time our crews arrived on scene. At 11 p.m., we were briefed by police for the first time. All night, police stayed on scene trying to get the suspects to come out of the house and surrender. And our crews watched and waited. We have been on scene all day. We were there when we learned WIU had canceled classes and told faculty to stay away. And again, just hours ago, police tell us that suspect was finally taken into custody. And be sure to stay up to date on these and all of our headlines by heading over to our website, foxillinois.com. New details. Just hours ago, an overnight police standoff ended in Macomb with an arrest. It all started yesterday, just before 7 p.m. Macomb police, they went to search a search warrant, serve a search warrant, rather. That's when they were shot by someone inside the home. Both were taken to the hospital, then transferred to Peoria. An emergency alert was sent to nearby Western Illinois University, which was closed today. Just after two this afternoon, 38-year-old Shaking Mathis surrendered. Police did not confirm what the search warrant was for at today's press conference. It was also mentioned at the press conference that Mathis is believed to have some sort of criminal history, although the charges date back to over a decade ago. Both officers shot in the incident have since been released from the hospital and are recovering at home. Well, neighbors tell us it was a chaotic night. Some were asked to stay inside their homes today until the situation was resolved. Richard Barnett is a pastor at University Baptist Church. 
Once he learned that he was stuck at home, he and his wife offered to do what they could to help. So we've seen state, county, Galesburg police, uh, and of course, city of Macomb and WIU police uh, mm -hmm. all throughout the evening. Um, I've been up most of the night because I offered uh, through police dispatch that if any of them needed to use the bathroom or needed coffee to just come in the front door and announce themselves. And <laughs> Pastor Barnett says he doesn't know what the man who lived in the house. In fact, he said until all of this unfolded last night, he thought the house was vacant. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.